Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Mythic Mobs tutorial. Today I'm going to be covering three different mechanics for you guys. We're going to be covering Doppelganger, Decapitate, and Threat. Why? Why three? Well, because they're all super simple, super fast, super easy. You can do it in literally no time at all. The first thing I'm going to go ahead and cover is the fact that if you're going to use Doppelganger, you are going to need Lives Disguises plugin. This is because it makes the mob take on a specific disguise of whoever you designate it to. Uh, we'll get to that whenever we actually get to the skill. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So first, we're going to pull up the mob file, as always. Again, it's basically just a basic mob. Same stuff as always, yada yada. One thing I did add to this one, though, that I don't usually have on my other ones is modules threat table. This is very important because one, well, it's the very basis for the threat mechanic to begin with, and two, this is going to help a lot with how I decided to set up the doppelganger skills. Down here is basically just a copy and paste, but with its own little thing um, that we'll go over, well, we'll go over another time. Well, actually, we'll get there in time. So basically, the first skill that I have here is called Chosen. At what Chosen does is it sets a threat for the nearest player and it copies their appearance because as you can see nearest player on spawn so if i go ahead and spawn it in i totally forgot to save and reload i apologize for that okay so if we go ahead and spawn it in it put a threat of a thousand on me and it copied my appearance. That's because I was the nearest player. Of course, you don't have to spawn it in. If it spawns out somewhere in the wild and it spawns near you, um, it'll just do that automatically. Make sure you have a follow distance set up pretty high. It'll generally be in your options. It'll be like follow, like follow range, like 40. That was, yeah. I don't generally mess with that. I think the default range is fine. But you can do it however you want, just uh, that's how you use the chosen aspect of the skill. Next is going to be at, um, or change target at players in radius, limit to one, and sort to nearest. Now why did I do this instead of at nearest player? The reason is because you can change the sorting here to random if you so choose. And it will make all the difference because it'll pick a random player, one random player, out of a radius of 30. But I have it set to nearest uh, just for the sake of this tutorial because it keeps things nice and easy and I don't have to worry about it possibly not changing, you know, targets while I'm doing this video. Um, next, I have it on a 5 second timer. You can set it to as high of a timer as you want. Um, I mean, you can... Theoretically, you can put it on change target as well, but for some reason that doesn't seem to be working in version 4.5.9. Uh, hoping it's something it'll fix in the future, because it seems like a very useful mechanic, but it, for now we just got it on timer. So, what does change target do? Well, it, it's pretty straightforward. It sets a threat of 100 to the nearest random player, or sorry, the nearest player, um, and then it delays by one second and then changes to its target. It's very important to have this set to at target, so say if my alt account over there was the nearest player but I had a threat of 200 and he had a threat of 0, um, it, it would add his threat to 100 but it would still be looking like me because my threat is 200 therefore making me its target, and once my alt over there reached 300 and I was at 200, uh, it would change it to look into him. If we want to go ahead and make an example, let me go ahead and do this now because it's a little bit more complicated than it sounds. So here we go. He's the nearest player. So as you can see, smoke, and it turned into him. He now has 100 and I have zero. Now I have 100, he has 100. And now I have 200, he has 100, and he, the mod turned into me. And now I have 300, he has 200. Now he has 300, but I'm still the target because I was the initial target before he was matched with me. I hope this explains it fairly well for you guys, because otherwise I really don't know how to explain it. But, I mean, that's about the best I can do. This The reason it's like this is because 
Um, I wanted a mob that would change to copy the appearance of its target, and that's exactly what it's doing with this threat module um, and this mechanic that I set up. You're welcome to copy and paste it if you so choose if you want to make a mob like this. Um, that is exactly what this tutorial is for. Next, I have a pretty, um, a pretty spooky skill going on here, and it's a little bit complicated as well. It's called Worst Enemy. Now this is where this mob is going to come from, but we'll explain that in a second. So Worst Enemy, what is that? Well, basically he summons the second mob. He summons five of them in a radius of two. This is really important if you're using the doppelganger skill. CTT equals true, that means copy threat table. So that means DD mob 1 will copy whatever threat table DD mob has. So if I have a threat of 300 for this mob, when this mob spawns, I will also have a threat of 300. Um, inherit threat table, same, kind of same concept. Uh, if I have 300 for this and I don't have it set to inherit the, or copy the threat table here, um, if this mob decides to start targeting me, this mob will as well. Um, last, on surface equals true. I don't think you need that, um, but I personally found that it makes a difference when spawning in these mobs because sometimes it'll target anybody else if they're in the air. Uh, maybe it's just me and I did something strange, but that was happening to me, so I just went ahead and threw it in just to be safe. Um, so let's go ahead and reload and I'll show you what that's like. So here's our mob. Boof. That I forgot to switch the file. I apologize. Here. There we go. So, okay. So, I'm gonna interact with them. Spawns five of them, and they all turn into me because they copied this threat table. Now, how spooky would that be if you just have a whole bunch of yourself just chasing you down? I mean, what are you gonna do? It's hard to tell which one is the OG mob because one thing you're gonna want to have to do with Doppelganger, um. You're going to want to have to have their display name hidden, or at least set to this. Um, if you do not have the display here, it will just come up as null, which, I mean, if that's what you want, you can have it. But if you don't want it to display any sort of name at all, just have it blank, because putting the target name placeholder does not work for a display name. Not sure why, but it just doesn't. Last is decapitate at target on death. Um, this can be kind of significant because for some reason it doesn't seem to work if uh, it, if you have this set to on kill kill a player you would think with this it would uh, you know it would drop a player head of its target whenever it kills a player but for some reason it just doesn't seem to work that way my thought is because it activates when it kills a player and when it kills a player it no longer has a target so I could be wrong, but that's my theory. So we're gonna go ahead and set it back to what it was on death. So this way, um, say it decided to target me. I'm going to save and reload that. Spawn DD mob. Okay, so it targeted me. Uh, say it used the doppelganger skill and I kill it. You know, well, bam does not seem to be dropping my head. I'm not entirely sure why. So we're just going to assume that works. Um, and then the next thing you can do with the decapitate thing, I went ahead and made it. This is only going to work if you have the mythic artifacts plugin, but you know, decapitate art uh, at target on player kill or on kill player. You just go ahead, boom, 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 boom. And look at that. I now have his head, his face is mine to wear, and I'm going to have a lot of fun. You know, just going around like, hey guys, look, I killed this player because I am a PvP battle master. You know, or whatever, I can just stick it on the wall if I want to have a display of heads. Your choice, really. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I got for you today. I hope this uh, video inspires you to make some awesome creations or some pretty crazy skills with your monsters. If it did inspire you, please give me a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for more Mythic Mobs Madness. Your creations are going to go far, ladies and gentlemen, and we are going to get there together. Thank you so much for watching, and I can't wait to see what you come up with in the future.